Dan okay. Fine is a man who finds solutions. Oh, wait, where'd those treats go? The former Microsoft so, partner is spending his retirement doing just that. How do we apply technology, good old Seattle technology and know-how, to be able to help with this bigger problem? There are actually animals that are living in these buildings. Fine is just back from his second trip to Europe, helping rescue the lost animals of Ukraine. You have an avalanche of a problem coming. Fine originally went to walk dogs, clean cages, and help out as best he could last spring. <laughs> but upon his return this summer, he realized much more needs to be done. You really need to go big on this thing. There are more than one million abandoned dogs and cats in Ukraine. During Fine's time there, his team vaccinated, sterilized, and chipped 5,500 of them, a drop in the bucket. He estimates 300 to 500,000 more need to be treated. So he came up with two basic goals to save the furry faces of war. How do we keep these animals alive and healthy? And how do we keep them from repopulating? So you can see that we've got them both in Ukrainian and English. Through his tech prowess and connections, Fine is helping coordinate critical animal infrastructure in Ukraine and the rest of Europe. And then with the map, they can also get driving directions. Software that's allowing shelters, food warehouses, and volunteers to connect. Even facial recognition technology to help pets find a way home. So it's a way to reunify, but also to help with the adoption, which is a huge problem. For the next step, Fine wants to partner with animal organizations and the U.S. government to raise $15 million to save all those animals. What's happening? As he dotes on his own dogs, Fine worries winter is looming in Ukraine, and time is one more enemy these innocent animals face. These animals are still waiting for their parents to come home, their owners to come home, and they'll never come home. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.